Hey guys, how's it going? Today I just want to talk about the RC circuit. More specifically, the RC circuit where the resistor labeled R and the capacitor labeled C are in series together. And they're also in series with just a DC voltage source. So let's go ahead and get started on this circuit. For this circuit, we want to find V out. And V out is a function of T because um, we have a capacitor in this circuit. And the voltage and the current through the capacitor are going to vary with time. So that's also why I have I the current here as a function of t. And remember that when we have uh, functions that um, depend on another variable, we write them with uh, a lowercase. So this is a lowercase v and this is a lowercase i. That's just common uh, from what I've seen in engineering school. So to solve for v out of t, we're going to use uh, KVL, that's Kirchhoff's voltage law. And that's that the, uh, the source voltage, vn, is going to be equal to the voltage across the resistor plus the voltage across the capacitor. And the voltage across the capacitor is obviously just V out, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to write that down. Uh, we have Vn, my marker's not working very good, is equal to the voltage across the resistor. And remember that the voltage across the resistor is, using Ohm's law, is R times the current, so R times I of T is R times I of T plus the voltage across the capacitor, which is V out of T. Okay, remember that the voltage across the capacitor, let me write that down here, I'll use VC of T, is equal to 1 over the capacitance times the integral of I of T dt. And our bounds for this problem are just going to be from 0 to t. Okay, uh, you know, sometimes you'll see the, this uh, integral from negative infinity to t, but that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense for this problem because we can't have a negative time here, so we're assuming that our, our circuit's going to start at t equals 0. So picture maybe a switch up here that closes at t equals 0. So I'm going to plug this into the equation here so I get Vn is equal to R times I of T plus 1 over C times the integral from 0 to T times I of T dt. And it's also common for us to change the variables for I and dt because we're integrating over T and we have t in the limits, so I'll just put some primes here to make the mathematicians happy. Okay, so let's uh, differentiate both sides of the equation by t. And since vn is a constant, if I take the derivative of it, it's just going to be 0 is equal to r times dit dt plus uh, 1 over c times I of t. Okay, and if I want to write this uh, equation as a uh, first order linear differential equation, I'm going to go ahead and uh, write it this way. I'm going to divide everything by r. So I have the derivative of the current with respect to time plus 1 over r times c times the current is just equal to zero. And this, like I just said before, this is a linear first order differential equation. And if I want, it would take a lot of time if I went through and actually solved this, but uh, I have in my notes here the actual answer to this. And you know from your differential equations class how to solve this. So you could do this on your own and you should arrive at the same answer. So uh, in my notes, I have that I of t I of t is just equal to I naught, that's a constant, times e to the negative t over uh, tau. And you know from your physics class that tau is just a time constant. And uh, tau is just equal to r times c. Okay, so now we need to find this constant I naught. And this is pretty easy. So think about this uh, from the physics aspect. So as soon as uh, 
as soon as t equals zero, so if we have our imaginary switch that closes up here on our circuit, current is going to start flowing. And the capacitor isn't going to resist the current flowing at all when the switch initially, initially closes. What is going to limit the current is this resistor. And the maximum amount of current that can flow would be if we were to short this capacitor, right? So the current through this capacitor at t equals zero, when the capacitor is virtually a short, would just be the voltage, Vn, divided by the resistance. So at uh, I equals zero, or sorry, at uh, when T equals zero, or I of zero, um, we have this is equal to uh, Vn over R. So therefore, I naught is equal to Vn over R. So that's pretty easy. Let me plug that in here. I'm going to write that up here so we can see that better. We have I of T is going to be equal to uh, Vn over R times E to the negative T over Rc. Uh, you know, most circuits professors or phys physicists like to keep this in terms of tau, but I'm just going to use RC so we have uh, everything as a voltage, resistance, capacitance, and time. Okay, so now we have the current through this circuit as a function of time. So now we need to plug this current in up here, where I'm pointing with my marker. We need to plug that current into this integral to get um, the voltage, the output voltage. So I have in my notes that if we plug this in, so uh, V out of T is equal to uh, 1 over C times the integral from 0 to T uh, Vn over R uh, E to the negative T prime over RC dT prime I get that V out as a function of time is equal to Vn times 1 minus E to the minus T over RC. Okay, so here's our answer here. Box that in. And we're done. We just now found the output voltage. We found the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time. And this function makes uh, sense, if you think about it, because at t equals 0, at t equals 0, uh, there's uh, going to be no voltage across this capacitor, because when I plug in 0 here for t, I'm going to get 1, and 1 minus 1 is 0, and 0 times Vn is just going to be 0. And that's uh, going to be no voltage across the capacitor at t equals 0. And we said earlier that at t equals 0, the capacitance acts like a short, so th that makes sense. But as t goes to infinity, this exponential term goes to zero, and then my output voltage is just Vn. So at t equals infinity, um, my output voltage here is just my input voltage. The voltage here is just transferred to the capacitor. All right, well, uh, that's going to do it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, you know, leave a like, subscribe. I'll be back with more videos. Thanks.